Justin Trudeau's Liberal Party will form the next government in Canada after the country's second general election in two years. Conservative opposition leader Erin O'Toole has already conceded defeat. But in a blow to Prime Minister Trudeau, it's expected to be a minority administration. The poll was called in the hope that Trudeau's Liberal Party could win enough seats to govern alone, unshackled by the constraints of coalition government. Samira Hussein has this report. In his third consecutive election win, Justin Trudeau greets his supporters as the Prime Minister of Canada. But this win was far from guaranteed. And at times, his future as leader looked uncertain. I hear you when you say that you just want to get back to the things you love, not worry about this pandemic or about an election. That you just want to know that your members of parliament of all stripes will have your back through this crisis and beyond. This is a victory for Justin Trudeau, who managed to hold on to his position as prime minister. But he was unable to deliver on the parliamentary majority that he so desperately wanted. And it will inevitably lead many Canadians to wonder why they went to the polls in the first place. Mr. Trudeau, how are you feeling? It's a beautiful day to go vote. I encourage everyone to get out there. Justin Trudeau, the man born with a silver spoon in his mouth, wanted to be seen as a man of the people, standing in line to vote like everyone else. He cast his ballot in an election he called that many Canadians did not want. Opposition leader Aaron O'Toole tried to use that to his advantage, openly criticizing Mr. Trudeau's decision to drag Canadians to the polls. He ran a centrist campaign, hoping to turn disaffected Liberal voters into Conservative ones. Five weeks ago, Mr. Trudeau asked for a majority. He said the minority parliament was, quote, unworkable. But tonight, Canadians did not give Mr. Trudeau the majority mandate he wanted. In fact, Canadians sent him back with another minority at the cost of $600 million and deeper divisions in our great country. It may be a new day in Canada, but people here have barely taken notice. It is the same old leadership. Six weeks of campaigning and very little has actually changed. Samira Hussein, BBC News, Montreal.